Hey friends, Oliver here. Today I uh, made a little half vlog about my trip to Salt Lake City last week and I just wanted to share some of the highlights with you because I quickly realized that I had no energy, interest, or time to make a real vlog and I just don't know that I possess that uh, internal drive that some of the high level vloggers on the YouTube platform do and I respect it very deeply because man, you gotta like, I don't know how you can exist and be present in your life and also vlog. <laughs> I really don't. So anyway, I uh, started this trip, I was a little nervous because I had no voice. Well, today is a very special day. I am about to head to the airport and fly to Salt Lake City, Utah for a very exciting and fun trip that was a little bit unplanned until just last week. I also have no voice and I'm trying to get that back and so I'm probably not going to talk too much on this thing, but here we go. But I went ahead and uh, took some honey and some tea and did that whole thing and uh, flew to Salt Lake City. It was a great flight, everything was nice. And again, I didn't film anything on the plane because I did bring my big, so I'm using the Canon uh, EOS R, the new guy, borrowed it from Bobby and I uh, brought it on the plane and I just felt like a complete idiot <laughs> holding a big camera on the plane. And it's like, yeah, we talk about pushing past that and all that, but I just feel like an idiot. Well, made it to Salt Lake City. So the reason I'm here is that Moment Lenses has invited me to come out here and make a video with them <clears throat> about sound design for video. They're doing a big product launch that happened today that I will link below the actual video that we made together. But they're doing this like product drop where they partnered up with Shure and a couple other companies to, to sell audio products as well as their camera lenses together for you to be a better, better mobile filmmaker. So that's why I'm here and I'm super excited to finally meet the dudes and the girl over at Moment. So I made it to the Airbnb. We're gonna go check it out, see who's in there. Hey, what's up, Moment hey, fam? Uh, what is we got Niles. How are you doing? In the house, good to see you, bro. Good to, good to see you. Oh, dude. Caleb. What's up, everybody? Good to see you. What's up, you too? What is up, Taylor? Hi. How are we doing? Welcome to our super fancy Airbnb. We okay, so I'm sitting here with Niles. Yep. And it uh, turns out in like 2012, I went to his dad's house in Kansas City and hung out in his dad's backyard. Yeah, so I have like a pretty crusty dad. Dad, if you're watching this, sorry, but you know, it's true. He like. <laughs> He has paint all over his clothes. He's like, you know, kind of a tortured artist, plays the violin all day and paints and stuff. And we have a great backyard. And we put it together because Oliver was in that backyard. And it was pretty memorable, right? It was very memorable. I just <laughs> loved it. It cascaded, it was beautiful. It gave me like, I just wanted to buy a house after I went to that backyard. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice, nice. And you can afford to buy a house in Kansas City. Right. So anyway, I got to the house and we all stayed in this big old Airbnb there, um, which was super fun. Felt kind of like old school ecology. And that's actually where we did the the filming for this. They wanted to do just a conversation about sound design and make a short film that you've seen today that focuses on the sound and how important sound is for picture. Because let's be honest, sound is a little bit more than 50% whenever you go to a movie. So got to meet Niles, Caleb, Taylor, and Julia of the Moment crew, the Moment team. And uh, that night, right after I got in and uh, we chatted and hung out for a little bit, we all went out and shot some night B-roll. Hey guys. Yeah, especially- Niles mm -hmm. looks sexier from the outside. Thank you, yeah. I've never seen him on the inside though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's <clears throat> even better. Some We're gonna shots. go GTS. Let me turn on a light for you. It's okay, I was to see if this like, I got it on full auto here. We don't have tons of time to like actually make- We're out in Salt Lake at night, getting vibes. Yeah, getting Shooting vibes. lots of vibes. What? You want on the Moby for the whole thing? Yeah, but we need the mic for sound. Oh, that looks great. It's all right. Oh, shit. No, you're good. I was Oliver blocking for you. Thank you. Oliver? Honestly, I, I was trust like, Oliver with my life. I was going to go, like, let you get the shot. This is Oliver. This is a big guy. <laughs> yeah, I'll shoot for you, but not for the vlog. So Taylor almost died right there, and I didn't know that she didn't see that truck, so I just not jumped down the road. Oliver literally just, I just palm, jumped down the road to, to the truck yeah. and said, Sir, yeah. you're no longer like, driving. You need to stop. Oliver palmed the truck and the truck was like, was like, he didn't even see her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was amazing. I was like, dang, you can come more of these, man. <laughs> Okay, uh, one more shot of the happy wire now. Yeah. Always in shooting is great. It's like always in shooting. Is that right? Yeah. And again, sorry for the, like the wild shake. I, I didn't realize that this lens was not image stabilized. And I, again, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just whipping the thing around and having a good old time. And uh, I think that's fine. 
I think that's okay. So we wrapped that night, got some yummy Thai food, hung out, talked, got to know each other, just chilled and had an all around good time and then went to bed. Woke up the next morning and right away we set up the room for the actual interview, then we all went to breakfast. So we got back and we actually sat down and what, what ended up happening was Taylor and I sat at a desk with a computer open with a lot of the footage that the Moment crew has already shot. And we just had this frank conversation about sound and sound design and you know just some tips on how to do good sound design in Premiere and part of me wants to do like a follow-up to it just on my own channel because I feel like it's so valuable to know that you can do enough in Premiere there's enough tools there's enough ways to manipulate your sound or keep things organized or just blend it all together in a nice cinematic way in Premiere you don't need audition frankly you don't need logic you don't need pro tools one of that to make a good sound design picture. All right, so today we're going to actually film the moment sound design video. No, it does not fit. Jam it right on the top. No. 100%. percent got Niles in the room. You never used it? Caleb no, and Taylor. I wasn't recording quite as much this morning and last night as I thought I would in an effort to save my voice. So we're going to be talking about sound design today, something I and many of you know am deeply passionate about. So really excited about that. <laughs> Is this Oliver approved? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> yes, definitely not. <laughs> Oliver. What's up? Oh, you're building. Are any of your tips going to be around so high? Takes a little while for the EOS R to focus, but oh, when that, it does, light, it's pretty here. sharp. Oh, oh, here's, yeah. here's your thumbnail. No. <laughs> here's your thumbnail. <laughs> this is, what if this was the thumbnail? Yeah. <laughs> So we're about to film, and I still don't have a full voice, but if I talk softly, yeah. I think it'll be nice and like jazzy. It is jazzy. Like, tune in tonight, HHK. Okay. I'm still making tea with honey in it to try and help my voice, which I heard was really good. But I contacted my uh, friend Baron Cruz over at the Charisma Matrix, who's a voice expert. And I was like, hey, how do I get my voice back? And he was like, just don't talk. And I thought that was brilliant. So I'm, I'm not heeding that advice, but still talking. No I know, this morning you were like, I'm not bringing the vlog camera because I don't want to talk. I know, and then I like yelled all and breakfast and like, <laughs> it was great. It would be such a big file. On that camera? No, no, no. So we're yeah. about to uh, record the sound no, design tutorial on this computer, which belongs to Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, totally. And Taylor's gonna edit it while I yeah, talk about cool. sound. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. The audio gospel. I'm literally so sorry. I was born sorry. <laughs> So we were inspired by all the Moment Invitational film submissions, and what set a lot of them apart was really good audio. We're recording an intro right now. We just, Taylor and I wrapped the long tutorial, and uh, my voice is still here, so that's good. How did it go, Taylor? I mean, it went really well. Good. Niles? I just had to sit, so. Right. Niles? Very coffee in the shop. Very good. Very good. Caleb, how do you think it looked? Oh, so good. So I'm waiting for the auto to. Um, sound is often overlooked by filmmakers. So here is some of the gear yeah. that we're selling now that will help you get better sound and. Okay. Or, yeah. Yeah. So here's a new drop of gear. So yeah. Wow. So after we wrapped that, it was super fun. We did these like tip videos that you probably saw if you follow me on Instagram or on Twitter um, where we put out just Taylor interviewing me about like what are some tips what are three tips to improve your filmmaking sound and again that's super fun my voice was like cracking out the whole time because it was just like I'd been sick I had all these trips to Oklahoma City and Nashville and all this stuff and was just feeling totally fatigued but so much fun to actually be there and then we ate lunch and uh, I tried my very first iced latte which there's a moment there when I first tried it that you should go see in the vlog that I'm not sure is released today or not. It's a longer vlog, but it was, uh, it was a moment for sure. A moment with moment in, uh, at the Rose establishment in Salt Lake City when I first tried my, my first iced latte. So anyway, find that and check it out and report back. Let me know what you found and if you liked it or not, or if you stopped following me. So then literally we were done. We wrapped, we chilled. Taylor took me and Niles to uh, a vintage clothing shop where I bought this beanie and a cool pair of swim trunks. And we just hung out, you know? And uh, then Niles and I went to the airport, hung out, had dinner, had a beer, and then we flew home. And that was that. <laughs> oh, so, we wrapped in Utah, in Salt Lake City. What do you think about it now? 
think it went pretty good. Uh, this is our first day of proper sun. Right. And lo and behold, it's right, right when we're leaving. I know the birds are out and chirping, and it's beautiful. Well, and it's literally, like it's been spring. yeah, it's been raining the entire time we've been here. <laughs> so anyway, thank you again, Moment Fam, for believing in me, flying me out, having a great old time, and uh, go check out the short film that we made together. I helped on the post-production audio side of that film, as well as the uh, sit down and chat video with me and Taylor. All those are over on their channel. I'll link all that below. So all in all, really good times, really good people. If you are not already following Moment, you should. And you should buy their lenses and their stuff because frankly, if you go watch the video that we all made together, it just looks phenomenal. It takes iPhone cameras and makes them go next level. So with nothing else, I will see you all next week.